the Anime Empire. Here is a movie that ranks under so bad it must be seen category. So bad it is hilarious. So bad that it shall be etched into your brain for the rest of time. This is Psychic Wars. Let's begin. Feels like Psychic Wars cannot stand still for more than 10 seconds, otherwise it will explode. The movie jumps from place to place to place, seemingly terrified that the viewer might get bored and switch it off, which results in a painful, confusing experience that just begs the question, why? And to show this, here's the first 20 or so seconds after the title, unedited. I haven't sped this up or altered it in any way. Swab. There is a cancer growing within me. It will be unlike any you have encountered before. You must remove it. What the hell is this thing? The one constant in this jumbled mess is our hero, who nobody gives a name to for several minutes. They just call him the Doctor for now, a highly intelligent doctor who helps random people, a Doctor Who has a companion who seemingly gets kidnapped later, a Doctor Who goes back in time to save the human race, a Doctor Who. I don't want to go. Major surgery, the doctor visits a shrine in the middle of nowhere only to be hit by purple lightning, have a building fall in on him, and gain a Super Saiyan glow. He then drives back to work like none of that just happened. At the hospital, he prays for the old woman who mysteriously died when he was away, then he finally introduces himself as Ukio Retsu, right before the first jaw droppingly weird moment occurs. The doctor gets a call from the nurse and apparent love interest Friego Ashihina, in which he's told that the cancer he removed from the old woman has come to life. And without any hesitation or what the feck I have superpowers moment, this happens. After 5,000 years, the demons will return to the earth to, to destroy, destroy its peace. <laughs> This was revealed to me at Jigoku Dani Temple in the village of Oha. But in turn, a man will come to destroy the demons. Get me some dressings. He's bleeding badly. Right. He's fighting cancer. He's punching cancer in the face. And they screw it up with these damn cuts. So Ukio is in a car. Then he's fighting a demon in a forest. Now he's talking to an archaeologist. Back to the first, back to the archaeologist, now he's in a cave. Back to the archaeologist again, then the old spice guy comes along. Look down, back up, where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like old spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. <laughs> I may have got that last bit wrong. The story finally proceeds in a straight, bloody line once Ukyo falls down a rabbit hole and goes back in time through a blue vortex. He soon awakes in a field void of any colour except sepia, which quite literally looks like shite, as he is surrounded by the bodies of cavemen. And from this point forward, there's a fight every five minutes, starting with these murderous demons on horseback. And honestly, the fights are nothing great. All that happens for a movie called Psychic Wars is Ukiyo glows a bit and starts wailing on them. What pisses me off more here is that guns are shown to be very effective against these demons, but I'll get into that a bit more later. For now, Ukiyo comes across some living humans known as the Juman people, who bring him to a sacred waterfall where he's told by spectral ghost priestesses to kill all the demons. He agrees, of course, and rides off to do just that. However, he comes across his companion tied up naked to a tree first. But this isn't Fiyoko, it's a demon, and a fight occurs. 
I apologize for what you're about to see. It is stupid on a level beyond reason. And whatever idiot wrote this idea on a piece of paper should be deeply, deeply ashamed. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.